This is the day in the life of the Hawke's Bay Catchment Board. The following are scenes from the Cyclone Bowler Flood, March 1988. This Volvo six-wheel drive truck was on trial to a local contractor in the area. We were able to have the use of it. This was a great help in the very wet conditions. The flood caught us right in the middle of two narrow river stock banking contracts. On the Sunday morning before the flood, two 150 metre stretches of bank were down to ground level. The contractors worked from dawn to dusk on the Sunday and the Monday to build the banks up to a safe height. The contractors did their best but the uh, stock bank ended up one and a half metres below the design formation level. On the Tuesday the flood waters lapped the base of the banks. The following work as you can see was carried out on the Tuesday morning. The black polythene was laid on the river side of the bank. This acted as a secondary protection for the bank. Towards the top of the stock bank we laid uh, wire mesh to protect the black polythene from tearing. Action. As you can see, many people got involved in the flood emergency. This uh, ready mix truck was filled with sand. We used this truck to fill the many thousands of sandbags we required for the uh, stop bank. Payloaders were used and even that uh, six wheel drive Volvo was very handy. We used that uh, to cart the sandbags down to the river and uh, load the sandbags onto the bank. Old wool bales were filled with sand and carried to the stock bank by Lynn Wilson's helicopter. These bags were laid along the top of the bank to give the bank a little added height.
The following are scenes of the narrow river, Stop Bank, two weeks after the Cyclone Bowler flood. These stop banks are on the right bank of the river. You can see the extent of the damage that occurred during that period. Taking in the middle. Been unstable, isn't it? Whether it's because of all the rig up at the moment, eh? Now, story, worse. 